Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Laura here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Why am I laughing so much? I'll tell you. I just was on a phone conversation with a dear friend of mine who has lived in Mexico and him and I talk periodically. He moved back to California and uh, he's always curious on what's going on, you know, here, you know, he, he lived here for 13 years. And so uh, he, he, he asked me, how's the construction project going? And so I was telling him a sequence over a three year period. And the sequences were when we started out, maybe you've seen a video we did uh, where we had our house, our kitchen, just the whole thing blew up on us. You know, the contractor ran away with the money and, and we just had terrible times with that. I hired another contractor and he didn't show up on time. He never came and, and that was a problem. And so my friend, he says to me, he says this, he says, hey, Jerry, why don't you get them to give you a timeline, a timeline? How long is it going to be until you finish the job? Ask them how much time it's going to be to do the job. I, I'll tell you, you've got to live in Mexico to appreciate this. Because when you live here and you've lived here long enough, you run into a lot of... Uh, construction type of projects. Maybe you need a plumber or a gardener or a electrician or stuff like that. And a lot of times, and most of the times, I'm probably going to say they don't show up when they should. And uh, so when I was getting bids, and this is what I'm telling uh, my friend, I says to him, I says, when I was getting bids, you know, back then on our first project on getting our kitchen remodel, I asked him, I says, how long will it take? I, I had about two months allocated to get the kitchen done. And I wanted to get it done in six weeks. Okay, so I said, how long is it going to get, you know, be to get done, you know, Manuel? And uh, Manuel says to me, and he says, Jerry, if you give me 60% up front, I will get it done in five weeks. And I thought, great, that's one week under my timeline. And so I said, okay, knowing Mexico, I figured, okay, maybe it will take an extra week. Great, no problem. And so uh, here he gets involved in it, involved in it, involved in it. You know what the timeline ended up being? Seven months, it still wasn't finished, and he ran away with our money. I'm as mad as hell. Yes, me too. We get so frustrated and so mad about this construction. We supposed to be done on time, but we not. Now we waste our time in eight months already and never done and yet. So, uh, that was my experience with getting a timeline. How long will it be for the contractor to get done? So well, let me give you another example. I needed to uh, get this thing repaired. The guy left with my money, but he didn't finish the kitchen. So I needed to get it repaired. So what I did is I contacted a friend of mine who used a guy to do beautiful work in his house, building carpentry work. I met this contractor and I brought him over. I said, hey, look at the kitchen. We need to get it finished off. And he says to me, Jerry, I'm awful busy, but I can get it done in four weeks. And you give me half money up front. I'll get it done in four weeks. <laughs> Four weeks. I said, great. That's fantastic. I'm happy to help. You know, I'm happy to give you the job. Get it done in four weeks, right? So here four weeks come. And I call him and I says, well, the four weeks is up. You know, what about? He said, I'll send somebody over there right away. And start. one week goes by, another week goes by, another week goes by. Guess what? He's still not done with the project. I asked him originally, how long would it take? He said four weeks. Here we're almost going into eight weeks and the kitchen's not done. Let me show you a picture here that originally we gave the contractor to give him an idea of what we wanted. Okay, now here, again, it's July. This whole thing was supposed to be done 
in uh, January, we say February, to give them a little extra leeway. But look at here, all the cabinets here, they are no doors, no hardware, nothing like that. We just got the framing put up. And uh, so, and if you look up in here, there's molding supposed to be up in here. There's no molding up in here. I had said, how long would it be? I set up a timeline. My friend here, Joel, I set up a timeline with two guys so far, right? And nothing happened, okay? So now, what's happening now? So now, I need to get somebody else in there, and I hire a carpenter, another carpenter. So to I hire a carpenter, comes in, we're just having a cabinet made, no big deal, and he tells me I can get it done in two weeks. <laughs> of course, I'm thinking four weeks would be great. Hey, I'll double it up. Here, it's been six weeks. Guess what? Cabinet's not even in yet. And I'm using a rep reputable guy now. Another thing that was going on at that time is I needed some uh, plumbing done. I had some plumbing issues outside and I need to have them done. I bring in a contractor, I get a price, I ask him how much it's gonna be, and he says it's gonna be three days. Great, small job, three days. Three days come, doesn't show up. I give him a call. Hey, Jose, where are you at? I'll be there at two o'clock today. Great, I'll meet you there. And so two o'clock comes, no Jose. Call him up, hey Jose, what's up? He says, oh, I'm sorry. I'll be there tomorrow at 9 a.m. Great, see you there tomorrow at 9 a.m. Now I don't live there, so I have to keep going there and uh, making these appointments. Get there at nine, I wait around an hour, well, be patient, Jerry, I wait around an hour. I call him and he says, oh, I had problems. Can I meet you there tomorrow at nine? Okay, I need the job done. And so I'm patient and I said, okay, let's get here. He doesn't show up, call him again. He tells me again, he'll get, be out in the afternoon. He never comes. I made about 10 calls to him on different days and he told me each time he'd be there either that day or the next day. He never did show up. I ended up having to find another plumber. So, I mean, my friend Joel, I'll tell you, I have asked him over and over and over again, give me a timeline. And over and over again, I have been so disappointed. So what have I learned, Joel? What I've learned is for me not to get my expectations so high. I think that's a problem. I expect them to do it when they say they're gonna do it. And I have to keep my expectation lower here because my experience, Joel, is that they don't show up on time. Now, I'm not saying all of the contractors and maybe your experience, Joel, with working with contractors here, you had a better situation, but I have had some real struggles with it. So I can only say, I can, couldn't stop laughing when I got off the phone with you. It just, uh, well, okay. Okay, that was my experience with uh, contractors here. Uh, I talk to other people and they don't have that problem. I don't know. What is it? What is it? My karma? You know, what is it uh, that uh, I've had this situation? But now, let me give you an update. I'm working with a contractor now. He's doing a great job. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. If you're interested, next Friday night at 5 p.m., we're gonna show you the completed remodel of our home here in Mexico.